The high-voltage direct current transmission technology used today was developed extensively in the 1930s and has been a proven technology since the first major installation in 1954. Over the past 50 years, several direct current transmission lines have been constructed in North America that augment the existing grid to offer significant electrical, economic, and environmental advantages over alternating current transmission lines for long distances. More recently, there has been an international boom in the use of high-voltage direct current to tap energy resources distant from consumers with a strong demand for low-cost, reliable energy. Currently, there are more than 20 high-voltage direct current transmission facilities in the United States and more than 35 across the North American grid. Historically, the majority of electricity transfer from generator to consumer has been over high-voltage alternating current transmission lines. While alternating current transmission is the best technology for gathering and distributing smaller amounts of power over shorter distances, direct current transmission is the technically and economically desirable solution for delivering large amounts of power over long distances and for integrating that power into the existing grid. When transporting large amounts of power over long distances, direct current transmission has major advantages over alternating current transmission. More efficient transfer of energy, smaller footprint and less extensive facilities, and high voltage direct current transmission lines give the operator complete control over power flow and facilitate the integration of wind energy from different resource areas, therefore improving reliability. HVDC transmission lines bring economic, environmental, and electric reliability benefits. More efficient, improved reliability. During the last decade and a half, siting wind energy projects has been straightforward. New wind farms have been permitted at the intersection of good wind resources and transmission lines with spare capacity. As more wind farms have been constructed, the existing transmission lines connecting windy regions to communities and cities have filled up and become constrained. The constraints on the system cause congestion, shown in red in the graphic, and result in the curtailment of wind farms. In other words, as the transmission lines become more congested, it is necessary to reduce the amount of energy flowing over the lines, and as seen in the graphic, wind turbines are often the first to be shut off. A lack of electric transmission infrastructure is impeding continued growth in the renewable energy industry. It is possible to address this challenge by constructing several high-voltage alternating current transmission lines, depicted in green in the graphic. However, in order to efficiently transport large amounts of energy over a long distance, one high-voltage direct current transmission line shown in blue is much more appropriate. Utilizing one high-voltage direct current line versus the three alternating current lines reduces environmental and visual impacts, construction time, and overall project costs. These benefits are in addition to the electrical and system benefits provided by a high-voltage direct current transmission project. Direct current transmission requires, at a minimum, around one-third fewer conductors and insulators than alternating current transmission. A bipole high-voltage direct current line has two electrical poles, whereas an alternating current transmission line has three phases. Furthermore, as previously noted, direct current transmission is more efficient and also makes more complete use of the available conductor material than alternating current transmission. Alternating current does not utilize the interior portion of the conductor material. As a result of all these factors, and as can be seen in the graphic, the towers used to support direct current transmission lines generally can be constructed on narrower strips of land than alternating current transmission lines with similar voltage or power levels, allowing clean lines projects to minimize impacts to existing land use. High voltage direct current transmission lines use narrower rights of way than alternating current lines moving a comparable amount of power over long distances.